energy is the King of Cups. And for some of you, this is going to represent a water sign person. It could be Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and it may be their sun, their moon, or their rising sign. For some of you, this may be a father or uh, your ideal lover or a trusted advisor or some kind of professional. But it's usually someone who is mature, emotionally stable, someone who may be very intuitive, creative, empathic. Uh, this is someone who's easy to talk to and you trust this person because they're operating in your corner. They want to support you. They're willing to take on more responsibility to do so. And so this is a supportive influence where you may be receiving some good advice or you yourself may be in the role of listener. So for some of you, this may be someone in a helping profession. It could be a doctor. It could be a counselor, a negotiator. In some cases, it may be a judge or lawyer. It could be an artist. Uh, it could even just be a family friend. But the focus today is on assistance that is in favor of your best interests. So issues that surround responsibility, protection, care, concern are important today. And so for some of you, this is someone who's very honorable in their intent and someone who has some old-fashioned values. But you also will be taking on the traits of the King of Cups. And today you may find that others are willing to help and assist you and go along with your agenda. Uh, remember, the overarching theme is that six of wands and being recognized. So this may be someone who has a lot of influence or they may be recognizing your potential. And so for some of you, you know, taking this different approach to getting what you want or even frustrating your adversaries pays off for you. Your ability to, you know, take that water element, the, the element of flow and movement, that changeable quality helps you rise to the top represented by that six of wands. And so today you can really be productive, make great strides, accomplish a great deal, and you don't have to necessarily work very hard at it. In fact, by doing less, it almost seems to be paradoxically that things fall into place according to your wishes, according to uh, how you would like to see them, and they happen to play out uh, of their own accord. So for some of you, your connections with others uh, go very well. People are willing to comply with special requests that you have, uh, the, the things that you want that you feel will help you gain an advantage. For some of you, contacts with people at a distance will bring good news, and this could be personal or professional. Now, on an emotional level, again, this King of Cups can represent the ideal lover, uh, the ideal partner, uh, especially given the, the good qualities that I've been speaking of about this person. And so you may start to realize that you have a strong bond with somebody. Maybe you've been repressing feelings about someone and today is the moment that you realize, you know what, I, I really love this person. Or maybe you, you weren't really vested in establishing a relationship, but you're starting to understand that maybe, you know, things would go better, flow more smoothly if you worked as a team, if you joined with someone, if you coupled up, whether that is business or social or romantically. And in many cases, this is an attraction that is mutual. And so today is a day where Either you or others will feel a great intensity to try to prove that you're emotionally invested. You Maybe you want to impress someone and you're going out of your way to do something good or something lovely for another person. Or you're trying to improve matters. You're trying to improve life or a situation or your relationship. Or you're trying to preserve something of value that is important to you, whatever that is. Or you're defending someone, protecting them. 
But this energy can also work in the opposite direction. Maybe, you know, you're an opponent to someone and you want to destroy something. It all depends on how you're feeling and what kind of mood that you're in. Now, negatively, you know, maybe you're dealing with the ramifications of some bad advice. Uh, you know, this could be somebody that's a con or there's some power plays or deception or insincerity. So you may find that you're in some kind of entangling alliance where there's some manipulation or ruthlessness taking place. Maybe someone doesn't want to deal with responsibility or their emotions are unstable or they're too self-indulgent and prone to escapism or exploitation. Uh, maybe you're dealing with some issues of uh, some kind of abuse where the escapism is either sexual or financial or substance abuse. So there could be some dependency, some addictions, or some just unbridled narcissism at play. And you may be dealing with someone difficult or exhibiting difficult traits yourself that make it hard for people to go along with your agenda. So the harder you try to gain control, the less control you seem to have. And your exchanges with others are confusing, emotionally unfulfilling, and ultimately unproductive. Relationships start to be complicated with an undercurrent. So some of you, you know, what you want may not come to fruition, especially if your agenda lacks sincerity. Maybe you're making false promises or turning that charm on that we spoke about because it sounds good. I'm saying all the right things, but I don't plan to ever deliver. And so today is a day where it may be very easy to lie to yourself or to other people or you're coming in contact with someone like that. So it's a day in the positive where you're looking out for your best interests and you're connecting with people who have your back. In other instances, you're dealing with people who are selfish, uh, weak or ruthless and prone to treachery.